the uh, lower radiator hose blew off. So uh, all, the, all the water, it's like 99% water because we've been changing it like a million times already. This is the first, I've never been towed off a track in Ebisu yet. <laughs> and uh, kill everybody's Nishi fun for 10 minutes. <laughs>
Circuit, which is a really cool uh, multi-level track. I've seen very little about it, um, but it's going to be a shitload of fun. I'm really excited about it. But myself, Luke, Grant, Jordan, Jordan, Adam, Squid, Drift Squid, Jake, uh, we all got our cars transported there last night, two by two. Lots of trips back and forth. Cheeseburger so man thank helped you, a ton with getting the cars out there for us to go drive today. I think they were doing deliveries till like 4 a.m. I was at the shop until about quarter to two. We modified the thermostat housing, blocked off the things that needed to be blocked off so that the water will flow correctly through the motor. We fixed the oil leak, which was scary. It was actually the oil relief plug, not the front main seal. And there was about two rotations left till it just blew out. Um, oh, look at this rainbow. That's a really good one. You can see both sides of it. Thank God it, we had thick oil and it still made oil pressure. Shell Helix killing it on that one. I'm really excited. I've never seen this track before. It looks really cool never been here. I've actually never driven outside uh, Sakuba and Ebisu, so another track to check off the list in Japan. Okay, so we put this little Schrader valve on here, like a valve stem on a car. So we're going to see how that works, so I can bleed the cooling system out of the top. I know it'll hold the pressure, but I don't know about the temp. So we'll see on that.
is super sick. I would have loved to get some dry laps here instead of being in the wet all day. I would have loved for my car to be a little bit more uh, reliable and uh, not have problems every five laps. But that's been the majority of this trip. But the bonus is it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that we built and it has everything to do with Jay-Z's just being not great to me. Like I have the worst luck with Jay-Z's. I don't know why. Everybody just throws them in their car and has no mechanical empathy and I baby every aspect of it, and it just doesn't turn out well with every Jay-Z I've ever built or had. I should just put an SR in it, but it's okay. We'll sort it. There's just a lot. Like, the engine needs to come out and basically get rebuilt at this point. So I'm kind of like, throw it in the trash and put a better motor in it. Yeah. I know, I know, all the Jay-Z dudes are gonna hate me. Oh, how do you blow up a Jay-Z? It's just like the same thing as the RB things. They all have problems, dude. But, like I said, super fun day at Link. Drove with everybody. It was kind of a private day, so it was sick. There was only like seven or eight of us. And uh, Chelsea got to drive some, which was sick. I wish she drove some more, but, you know. It's so cold. It's so cold. And wet. And the windshield fogs up, because the car can't have heat currently, because I need to make a little adapter. Overall, the car's doing great outside of oiling and cooling and motoring issues. <laughs> yeah, everything a motor is supposed to do. But it's doing great, it runs great, we pulled the plugs, they look great, everything looks great. It's just either the head gasket's blown, cr head's cracked, water pump has a problem, something, I don't know. There's something that it just hates doing. Uh, laps and all these other cars are stock and they don't overheat so stock obviously they can run a clutch fan we can't I don't know I'm kind of done talking I'm ready to go home and go to sleep